We are going to go in and just do a quick refresh. Nothing too crazy. Just make it more of like our style. So this is the powder room. Just the before. Okay. First thing was first, the floors had to go. Go, 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 go. So starting with the ceiling. Still got to find a light fixture for there. Um, did go in and add the two, two lights that's going to go over the vanity. The recess lights, the little two holes you see, that's going over the vanity. Um, and then this is what we had so far for the bathroom. It's a hot mess, but it's a work in progress. My husband went in and painted the ceiling and he's painting the walls. Um, why he's doing that i'm not really sure because i already have like the paint that i'm going to go with for the bathroom but i guess he's kind of using it as a primer but yeah this is just a little status update i don't know if you can tell but i'm tired <laughs> but we are about to well i'm about i guess we my husband's cutting the corners from me but we're about to try this new paint. I've never tried it before, but I've been wanting to try it for a long, long time. So today we're just doing it. I'm in the powder room, the bathroom. <clears throat> As y'all saw before, I, or I don't know if you saw before, but my husband came in and primed the walls. So that's why they're white now. They were yellow before. And I just asked him to help me out a little bit and cut the corners for me. And then I'm gonna go in and try the lime washing technique. And these are, these are the supplies I'm gonna use here. <clears throat> so I have the paint, it's like a dark gray or dark brown color. And then I'm gonna be using this brush here to apply the paint and just the paint tray and the paint stirrer, but that's about it. So I'm gonna get started and then I will show y'all an update as the day goes on. I can't paint this and hold it. 
too much. Whew. And hold the baby. I'm doing a bit much. drying too the lighter part but it's basically dry and then we were just going back and forth about whether we should do the ceiling I want to do the ceiling but it's kind of hesitant but at this point I'm just gonna go for the ceiling too The color is showing up a little bit darker than I envisioned, but I'm hoping it'll grow on me by the time I'm done this room. <laughs> in daylight the bathroom the walls are growing on me I'm starting to enjoy the color more than when I like, originally saw it at first it was like a shock because I thought I was picking a color that was like probably like two shades lighter so I was just like kind of like shocked by the color but I am starting to like it especially at night it's getting very very moody so I did go in and order a light fixture that should be here on Sunday, I think, or Monday. I'm not sure. And then we're going to put the vanity up today. The toilet is going to go in today. And finish with the baseboards. I am about to order a mirror. I think I'm going to go with like that irregular type shape. So I was just in here measuring to see like what size I should get. So I'm going to do that now. And then I did order some blinds. I, I went with like um some Roman shades. So those should be here, I think, in the next day or two. But yeah, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. How y'all liking it? Let's do this side. I don't know if it looks different with the light. But yeah. It's giving, come in and relax. Take your shoes off. <laughs> All right, I'll show y'all once we make some more progress. Here, I was trying to decide what size mirror to get to go over top of the vanity. The vanity is 31 inches wide, so I didn't want anything to go, like, extend past the vanity. I was more so trying to decide what length I should get. I didn't want it to get, I didn't want to get anything too large and then it just looked oversized in the room. And then and I also, I was having trouble with like going too small um, and it just looking like too much, you know, just incomplete. So I was going back and forth, like, should I get the 24 height? I think they had like 24 height, 36 and like 40 Whatever it was, I ended up going with the largest one just because I knew I wasn't going to put too much on that wall. So I wanted it to take up a nice amount of space. So I ended up going with 26 by 42. What are you doing? <laughs> you sitting there looking defeated. I ain't defeated, you know. I can just try to throw this in real quick. And my uh, my, my my supply line burst. Well, not burst. It's just that. That's how you have to rush to cut the water off. So right now, 
The water's out real quick, so I'm about to rerun this. Oh. Look, I'm still dripping. And my kids can't brush their teeth because there's no water. So how long is this going to take? It doesn't take too long. <laughs> That's what I'm wondering. I mean, what's, the, what's that company called? Are uh, they fix it in an hour? Because it's currently bad. They fix it in an hour? I mean, if it ain't my drill, you Hold know. On. You want to record everything? Well. All right. Call it is in. This good right here. And why would it be that low? I'm just saying, we had ours up high, but Caleb is like right here. But well, where's the tape measure? You said we was going to do 34 inches, right? Let me grab it. Where is it? Okay. Tape measure in hand. We're going to go. Where are we going? 34 inches off the ground. Standard. Oh, sorry. We need to come up about three inches. Yeah, looks like we need to move that bad boy up a little. I don't think so, because I, I vanity thing is, you know, it sits on top of here. It's like this, it's like four it inches is. thick. There, we're going to have to bend over to wash our hands. Please lift it up higher. You're supposed to wash your hands like this. So I'm saying How are you supposed to wash it? Like this. <laughs> I'm just saying the higher up we have it, the more that the kids are going to have to pull down and do all this extra stuff for them. Well, we got to this point, and Derek figured he needs another part. It's 10 10, and the stores are closed. Just got this package from, I think it's pronounced Homery, I don't know. But I ordered a light for, for the bathroom. I already ordered the light off of Amazon for the bathroom. But when I was shopping, I showed my husband a few of the different lights that I was considering. And he liked this one better. I do like, I did like it online. The only reason I didn't, um, <clears throat> I didn't really want to order this one is because it doesn't dim. I wanted a dimmable light. And my husband feels like everything don't have to dim. And I feel like it does. Everything has to dim. So I'm going to see which one we like best. And then go from there. Oh man, it's not put to it's not put together. So I might have to just like upload a picture of what it looks like. Or actually, I probably want to put it together. So it's just like a circle. Let me take it out this package. So it's like this sphere here, and then three lights go on here three bulbs and it looks like the bulbs are here and they packaged it pretty well let me let me put one or two of the bulbs on and then i'll show you all i'll be right back I showed y'all before but the mirror came but anyway back to the light so this is the light that's already here i don't know if y'all can see it let me go around here so you can kind of get a visual and then this is the one that just came i have my daughter holding it hey girl say hey, hey. <laughs> um i'm trying to I, i'm very visual so i have to like put the things in the space <laughs> love her, her arms are hurting. You tired doing this? But you had me doing this for like <laughs> three minutes. 
because I have to I have to picture it. Which one do y'all like best? And this light here has like two different light settings. So I like the warm color better. But which one do y'all like this one, the circle? Or like, I don't know what to call it. It's just like a line, a swivel. Swivel or the circle. Swivel or the circle. Which one looks best in this space? Honestly, I want to tell y'all my opinion until I hear y'all opinion. So tell me down in the comments. But honestly, I'm going to tell y'all anyway. <clears throat> I like this one better. This one. So does so Lowe. I like this one better, but I think this one looks better in the space. Wow. Oh, God. Nobody asked you if you care. But anyway, I think I like this one better. So I'm, I'm excited to see how it looks when Derek hangs it up. I'll come back and show y'all. I think this one looks better. Logan said, what did you say about it? Mm, like, this one looks a little bit better, but I don't really care which one we get. They look like. <laughs> she said this one looks exotic. So, okay. we shall see. All right, I'll do that. Okay, so this is the bathroom reveal. So in here, just wanted to keep it really simple, but update everything that was in here. So we switched out the vanity, uh, switched out the toilet, and we went with lime wash on the wall, added some lights up at the top, the two inch lights, and then we have this fixture here. This is at night. Y'all know I love a, a good nighttime moody vibe. So this is typically how I keep it at night. But during the day, we cut this light on, cut those off. And this is how it looks during the day. Here, just kept it simple. Some floral, candle, sage, and some room spray. And then I brought in this brown stool here or end table just to kind of warm it up a bit in here. Just soap and hand soap on the vanity. Wanted to keep it kind of sleek. So we went with the black fixture on the wall. That's the soap dispenser. And then the irregular shape mirror. That's it for now. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. And we edit the flooring. So this is just um, engineer hardwood floor. That's it. In the future, I do want to add over this toilet, I do want to add like a shelf and maybe a picture just to kind of fill in the space and add a little warmth in that corner. But other than that, I don't want to add too much. I don't want it cluttered. I just want it moody, comfortable. Get in here, do what you got to do, and get up. Peace.